these guys are drift to, to see. <laughs> Listen, if you are if you are stressed, I'm stressed like times one thousand. <laughs> Man down! Man down! <laughs> Welcome to the second part of our wintry, snowy adventure. Welcome to the winter wonderland! Oh, and we got Just some cows. Cows on a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Before we head off to our next destination, which is a hot spring, we need to get some water. We just stopped in this village actually. Uh, for a quick snack and we realized oh there's water here so we checked the spot and the local guys well the tap wasn't on and the local guys pointed us pointed us to this pink building ah yeah there is something and saying that it Let's is see. open and working so let us have a look and see Let's continue to the hot spring. We've just come off a road which was really quite snowy and less than ideal for driving on. <laughs> and yeah, we still have 25 minutes to go and, and I think it will be maybe something similar. Mm. But hopefully in the end, we'll find a hot spring and it's actually gonna be hot. Yes. Okay, we're out of the village and on the road for 14 kilometers. And it's probably all going to look like this. Snowy. Which so far is fine, like the van it hasn't struggled. But you know, you never know what's gonna be really around the corner. You have to be a bit careful. But I have a lot of uh, faith in this van after this snowy experience. <laughs> it's it's uh, exceeding my expectations. I'll give these guys a drift to, to see. They were happy. <laughs> there is a dog standing in the middle of the road. Please move, dog. Thank you. Oh yeah, see stuff like this. <laughs> a couple of cars have been on it. We are yeah. spinning a bit. I don't know if he's gonna do it. Oh no! And then what? Well, we go back. Uh oh, Come on. that is Come not on. quite a big hill. I just want to get just here where there's a little bit of tarmac. A little bit of grip. Almost, almost there. Oh. Hey. Okay, and then try and get some momentum from that. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Oh no. That's quite big. Oh. That is quite big. Okay, I would say we try again. Oh god. Your bigger speed. Uh oh. What? <sighs> Just when you start sliding. Oh my god, please don't stress me out. If you are if you are stressed, I'm stressed like times one thousand. I'm not stressed. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I have to concentrate. You are a bit stressed. Well, because it's just okay. Oh god. Okay. Well, we just have to go down here extremely slowly because any time we start going down fast, we just start sliding. It might be better just to try and turn around. That is super slippery and I almost fell over. Yeah. Uh, so first plan is to lower the tire pressures a little bit. Then we're going to walk up there and see if it gets any worse. But I don't know if we're going to make it up. 
And we'll check if there's a different road to the hot springs. I saw it was showing a slower route, which might be a more main road. But yeah, if, if it's like this, it's not great. That is quite uh, steep. Yeah, and we'll lower the tire pressures because, well, when I'm just trying to go down here, it was so slick, the van just starts sliding. As you can see from its position, I'm trying to reverse straight. Oh my god. Eight seconds of air release. Right. <laughs> Why not five? Oh, so I know to do the rest eight seconds. That was quick. That was quick eight. Um, is the CP. Three is the CP. Four is the CP. Five is the CP. Six is the CP. My eight, not your eight. <laughs> Jeez. The tires will be flat with your eight. Well, that's how you should count the uh, seconds, that? right? That's turkey. That's turkey and turkey. That might be turkey. Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. It's quite a long uphill. I have to make it. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's enough. Not going to bother trying to get up there because uh, it just doesn't seem possible. So I'm going to try and turn the van around and head back down there, and then we're going to see if there's another another way around this. Try from up here with the actual a proper run up. It's a momentum. Here you go. Let's try this again. Come on, Dobby, you can do it. You can do it, Dobby. Oh, come on, almost there, almost there. <laughs> Maybe I'll hop out. It depends what's next. Okay, chickens are next. That's not chickens. Ah, okay. that's chickens. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how far we can go. I was saying the diesel heat is great, and then it stopped. <laughs> and I was just praising the Dobler how well it's doing in the snow, and then we get stuck. <laughs> Maybe that's not, maybe that's not this anymore. I don't even think, I think this is like gravel, which could honestly be better than, yeah, obviously better than uh, yeah. smooth armor. We have some grip over here. Wow. wow it just looks white oh everywhere around. Wow. Okay, you can see the road, it's quite clear that yeah. uh, this is possible. 
Okay, we've just stopped in this village because we've come across something that looks awesome. Look at this. That is so shiny. Hmm. What is that? <laughs> is that from people having a fire in here? Hmm. Maybe that is from the fire. I feel like we're in an episode of the Flintstones. <laughs> Make our way back down. You can walk a bit further, but it looks a bit sketchy, so we're not gonna. Let's continue to the hot spring. It is 12 minutes away. And looking at the map, I think we should be just fine. All of these places that we've been have been like at least a thousand meters of elevation. That's why it is so cold and why there is so much snow around as well. The map says that hot springs should be somewhere right here, but it doesn't look like it for now. I think we need to go have a little walk. I think this is the spot where we can park and sleep, and let's go have a look and try and find it. Hey, that's it. And it's actually got water in it. Very hidden. Oh, right. Oh, that little... Yeah. Is it only this? Yeah. Then this it's little thing. It's okay, it's like just warm at the moment. Well, maybe down to the bottom will be warmer. It's not that deep as well, is it? No, it's not deep, but it's, it's enough to sit down, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So basically this hot spring you can drain and there is a bottle like plugging the hole for that. I believe if you drain it and fill it back up it will be hotter. I don't know the last time it was drained so maybe that's why it's not so warm. But I've seen that it should be about 41 degrees. Alright we spoke to the hot spring gurus from Rasta Road Trip, Ben and Lucy. If you haven't checked out their channel go and have a look. It is really really amazing what they do. And they said it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to fill it up to a nice optimum level where it's hot and you can be fully uh, dipped in it. So, funny enough, two other vans just arrived <laughs> and we want to go jump in and film a bit for you guys uh, before it gets too crowded down there. So, we're going to go there as it is and then perhaps tomorrow in the morning we'll try it drained and nice and hot and fresh. But, yeah, let's do it. Man down! Man down! <laughs> Are you okay, love? Oh, I'm right. <laughs> I knew this wasn't a good idea in Crocs. That knocked the wind out of me. Uh, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? It might be better to just go barefoot, to be honest. 
Oh no. Oh no. He's <laughs> a big steep. Watch out! I'm coming down! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> okay, this was a really bad idea in Crocs and uh, we should have just put our boots on. That would have been the wise move. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's like driving on snow in slicks. <laughs> Is your bum not okay? It's fine. Uh, most of the impact was like my chest, like my upper back area. Chilly. Is that any warmer over there? Um, I don't know. I cannot feel my sheet right now. It's not a stinky hot spring. Can't really smell anything. No, not eggy. It actually smells very clean for some yeah. reason. Yeah, so what we learned from Ben and Lucy's video is you can drain this hot spring and that's why it stays so clean and pure. It's best when you refill it. You have nice fresh hot water, which we're going to try tomorrow. But for now, it's nice to try it now and uh, compare it to what it would be like. like. It's not cold. It could be warmer. It always can be warmer. <laughs> <laughs> but I think because it is so cold outside... Yeah, you can feel the difference. Yeah, yeah. What a cool place. And amazing scenery. Yeah. Like we are sitting in this hot spring, there's snow around us. So amazing rock formations. Which I have no idea what is what it is. Looks like expanding foam. <laughs> yeah, it, it does, exactly. It does have that. And look at this texture on the amazing. Right. We're gonna enjoy this for a little bit and see you back at the van. That was really cold getting out and not that pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bloody freezing. Bloody freezing. But we're back in the van, we've got the heater on. We're cooking lovely warm food. Yes, so all will be well very soon. For dinner we serve today chickpea balls. Well, and what, not just chickpea balls, what? Explain. Chickpea balls with sauce. What sauce? <laughs> Uh, I make some tamari, soy sauce, chili. Yeah. Like a sticky. Like a sticky, sticky sauce. Nice. Good. And potatoes. Nice, yummy fried potatoes from yesterday, actually. Uh, potatoes with uh, spinach. And here, and here we have Ooh. cooked cabbage, Polish style. Mm. Very nice. Nice wintry dinner, which can warm us up. Mm -mm -mm. These look amazing. Wow. All right, I am starving. Hmm. It's like sticky, sticky barbecue, Chinese sticky kind of sauce. That's very really nice. Very simple and very yummy. Mm. I feel like in the summer in Africa. It is very toasty in the van and I am too hot. <laughs> I must say I'm too hot. I'm in my jammies and I'm very comfortable. I'm warm. And I think we don't even need a blanket on the top of our duvet tonight. Because mm. it's that warm. It is very nice and the weather is saying about minus five, minus six at night. Oh, come on, that's nothing. And a bit of snow. That's nothing. But it's not windy, which is nice. So I think we're going to have a very comfortable night. Night night. See you in the morning. All right, good morning. Slept very well. DZ was fine all night long. And now I'm going to go and drain the hot spring so we can fill it up with fresh hot water. Oh, my leg. 
snake. That was a bit trickier than I was expecting, but it is draining. It's drained, I've got the plug, and I'll put it back in. Right, it's 12 o'clock, it's like three hours since I drained it, and it is... Not quite half full, it is really taken a long time. Uh, not long after I drained it, some local guy came for his bath and he tried to mess around with the pipes up there because apparently it used to take 10 minutes to fill up. And he said the bottle wasn't good. He said it was letting out too much water, but he's put the same bottle back in. So yeah, I don't know. We're gonna just go in. It's kind of right to lay down in. It is 41 degrees. Oh, okay, that's better than yesterday. Uh, much better, but... Uh, oh. uh, if we were... If, we, uh, if that would be full of temperature like this... It will be amazing. slowly. <laughs> Maybe two more hours. No. Down with me. That's actually hot. Yeah. Like hot. Hot, hot. Uh, hot bath. We're going to hang out in this place for maybe a day, a couple of days, I don't know. We we'll to catch up on uh, video editing and have a little relax with this lovely hot pool. But also it depends from the weather because the next few days look like it's going to be very snowy in this area. Mm. So hopefully <laughs> we'll not get stuck over here. But if we will... We have lovely hot spring to enjoy. Yeah, it wouldn't be the worst place in the world to be snowed in. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.